Hey, we heard you were nervous. Why are you nervous? Ah, it's Bobby the Bear. Oh my gosh. I'm just people. It's I'm Bobby the Bear. I've already met you. I'm just people. <laughs> Hey, first of I'm, all, thanks for I'm coming. I'm a fanboy. Oh, sure. Thanks for coming to Vegas. That was awesome. And oh, I that was awesome. You did a video with that other guy that came, Richard. He does the sales stuff. And you were talking about bourbon. Yeah, we were. Because you were getting drunk in San Francisco. Is that what it was? I mean, no, you, you were a connoisseur, not getting drunk, right? That's the difference. <laughs> you were a connoisseur in, in Las Vegas. That's yeah. the difference of drinking bourbon and, and any of the other cheap shit, right? <laughs> That's uh, right. <laughs> okay, connoisseur. So... I saw you guys do a video, and he asked you, what's the difference between a $50 shot and a $20 shot, right? He did. He definitely did. Yeah, and he's in sales. You would think he would know the difference <laughs> is $30. <laughs> what the hell's you wrong? Think, you'd think. You'd think. Maybe he's not a numbers guy. What can I tell you? I don't know about him for sales training now. If you can't do the 50 minus 20, that's 30. <laughs> I'm a little confused. So tell me about bourbon. What is bourbon? Uh, it's a it's a beverage. It uh -huh. is a, an adult beverage. It's uh -huh. there, it's an alcoholic beverage. It's made out of at least fifty percent corn. Uh huh. Uh, some corn's rye. Good. Corn's good. Corn, corn is good. Corn is good. Yeah, corn, corn is good. It's corn it's, for kids. How come kids can't drink the bourbon? <laughs> well, that would be interesting. <laughs> I think uh, I've heard stories of people that put bourbon on their kids when they were teething. I've heard those stories, too. I don't think I'd ever do that, though. I don't know if that's a good idea. No, I don't think that's a very good idea. Okay. I mean, maybe I, that could have something to do with math skills later in life. Yeah, 50 minus 20 uh, is 30. Okay, so um, so why why is it different price? Why does it get higher? Seriously, why are the prices higher? Is it based on age? Some of, well, some of, it's, some of it's based on age, but some of it's probably just marketing. Gotcha, gotcha. Billy, really, I mean, one of the things yeah, that, that I – that, yeah, well, I mean, one of the things that I, I said to Richard is you can't even really go by price point sometimes. Uh -huh. I have a, a bottle downstairs in my bar that was a, about $100, and it's absolute crap. I hate uh -huh. it. I can't gotcha. stand it. It's awful. And I have a bottle downstairs that cost me $25, and I, I love, love it. I got you. Yeah, yeah. So, it, it's it, so some preference. of it's marketing. But some of it, like the legit stuff, the really hardcore expensive stuff, is it just because of age or age and discovery? rarity? Oh, okay. Yeah. Age and rarity. You know, yeah. you can't find some stuff you can't find. Sometimes that's manufactured rarity, uh -huh. is, but is bourbon from a specific area? Um, originally from Kentucky, but now it can be from anywhere. Oh, good. They got out of Kentucky. That's good. You don't want to <laughs> well, get Kentucky. out of Kentucky. You don't want to just be trapped in Kentucky. <laughs> Uh, Kentucky's great for the mountains, but uh, if you had got to, now, what's the difference between Bourbon and Bourboff? I have no idea. Because <laughs> well, uh, an I an N an N. Why do they got to put the on? Why don't they just call it Burb? Burb Bourbon Bourbon. Well, then you'd have the suburb, and that that would make That's things right. kind of interesting. That's right. So, basic bottom line is bourbon isn't just for breakfast anymore, right? Bourbon is definitely not just for breakfast anymore. Exactly. It's also probably not for breakfast either, unless oh. you're in Vegas. Unless you're in Vegas, I mean. Yeah, we saw a lot of people having connoisseuring bourbon, the bourbon breakfast, the bourbon breakfast buffet. <laughs> so, how did you get into? How did you become a connoisseur of bourbon? All kidding. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't call myself a connoisseur per se, but you know uh, my your brother, shit. My no, well, I because I like it. I yeah. like it. You know, I, so how'd, I how'd my, get into it? my my brother got me into it. He really? was really into it. Yeah, he was really into it, and he he uh, said I, I wanted to try it. Yeah. I had, I had enjoyed a connoisseuring with single malt scotch, which uh -huh. I don't really like anymore. Uh -huh. And my brother said, "Oh, you should try out the bourbon." So he he gave me a bourbon that he recommended as like a starter bourbon. It's like uh -huh. a, but and I I tried it, and it was okay. It's definitely an acquired taste. But it's not something that you like uh, pair with a food or anything, right? It's a, oh no, I, you could do that. I haven't done that, but you, they, there definitely are are pairs. Well, I, I would think it would probably go well with steak. Maybe. I don't know if I'll have to well try with, it. I don't know if it would go well with any of the vegan diets, but uh, you know, corn, corn, corn maybe. Corn would be yeah. good. I mean, yeah. Well, so that's very cool. Well, uh, thanks for straightening out the bourbon bourboff story. And the math on that was 50 minus 20 equals 30.
30. You can get a pretty good bottle for 30. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me.